I'm just gonna read one comment from Samuel Alito, because when he found out apparently that this report was gonna come out, he wrote an op-ed to try to get out in front of it for the Wall Street Journal. And he says, ProPublica suggests that my failure to recuse in these cases create an appearance of impropriety, but that is incorrect. My recollection is that I have spoken to Mr. Singer on no more than a handful of occasions. On no occasion have we discussed the activities of his businesses, and we have never talked about any case or issue before the court. Okay, so look, there's a couple different ways to look at this. So uh, the first is maybe he's lying. That's, I think, a plausible thing that we should consider. After all, he hadn't told us about this trip. He could have come forward willingly when the Clarence Thomas stuff was coming out and offered up this information. He chose not to, so there's already cause to not believe what he says um, or his willingness to make sure that you understand the truth. The other would be, uh, do you need to have detailed, constant conversations with people who are already paying you off? Do you need to do that to know which way you're supposed to rule in these sorts of things? Um, And the other is, if you don't know this guy, you never talk to him. Why are you accepting $100,000 private plane flights from him? Isn't that a little bit weird? Like, let's say that from Alito's point of view, he doesn't believe he did anything wrong. He doesn't think that it's a little bit weird that the guy would offer the trip. You might think that you're an angelic being floating above ethical concerns and the plausibility of conflicts of interest. But why is the billionaire obviously trying to influence you? Whether it's successful or not is an interesting question. But that is what he is doing, or at the very least, you should suspect that that might be what he's doing. And you seemingly have no problem with it whatsoever. Manel, any other thoughts? I mean, just real quick, I think, listen, this idea, the way he started this up, man, like saying ProPublica suggests that there may be an appearance of impropriety. Nope, they don't suggest it absolutely is, bro. Like, you can't, you, you can't understand impropriety that much at the Supreme Court. Come on, guys, let's be serious. You flew on a $100,000 trip within the United States. Sure, it wasn't the lower 48, but you were still in the United States and it cost $100,000 to fly there one way. Yeah. One way, come on guys, like, and also by the way, you caught a fish the size of your leg. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I'm, I'm sorry, dude, like I'm, I'm being funny, but I'm, I'm, I'm being facetious, but let's be serious. There's impropriety written all over this. This guy's been, his cases has been all over your court for billion dollar settlements. And, yeah. and you on a $100,000 year trip, come on, let's be serious. He took you on this trip because he knew there could be some influence, or at least he thought. And you know yeah. that too, as a Supreme Court justice. This is absolutely fish talk. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah, by the way, man, they sure know how to waste money, rich people. If you spend $100,000 on a plane trip, you should get to keep the plane, I think, personally. <laughs> For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.